in Kandahar City, Kandahar Province, Afghanistan. This is a part of the city where they bring the tanks from the previous wars and leave them to rust. What you see behind us is the results of decades of fighting in Afghanistan. Recently, the British government declared that they were bringing 1,000 more troops to Afghanistan to fight the Taliban insurgency. What we found in our research in the villages and in the camps is that it's very easy for the Taliban insurgency to recruit hundreds and thousands of men to fight for money due to their desperate poverty and their inability to feed their families. Many of the policies of the international community here, the crop eradication programs, the lack of aid and development, have really struck to the heart of this community and turned them against both the Karzai government and the NATO forces here. There are many young men here who already know how to fight and shoot a gun. The AK-47 is a very common gun in Afghanistan. It's very easy to obtain. They're in some places, they cost as little as 150 U.S. dollars. My colleague Syed first learned how to fight fire an AK-47 from Russians when he was 11. When he was 18, he went to fight for Massoud. And he now is one of the many young men in Afghanistan who know how to uh, use an AK-47. It's a very easy gun to learn how to use. It's a very easy gun to fire. And he's going to demonstrate that just so you can see how easy it is to use this gun that is so common in Afghanistan. It's an AK-47 and everybody can very easily use this gun. And if you want to load the gun like this, now it's cashiers and cocking. You pass the magazine and cock it and it's love for fire.